Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're coming from my previous video, you know that I have some more videos to come your way. This is a brand new unboxing. So the inspiration for this last trip that I had is that I'm looking for a big black bag. Usually, when it's the start of the year, that is when I buy new bags. If you saw my Givenchy best bags video, you can see that beginning of the year, I recoup and think whether these bags from my bag collection is worth to stay or, you know, to be sold. And it's also the time to buy new stuff. So it's not just buy, buy, buy. It's also sell, buy, sell, buy, you know, one out, one in. So last weekend, me and my husband, we went to the city and we picked up a bag. For the start of the year, I mainly want a big black bag. Because looking at my collection right now, I have a never full tote, which is the Epi Galay. So that's my only big bag and that wasn't black. I know it's galay as I said for me it's really useful for work and for going to the city if I have a lot of things to carry or even a weekender bag it's really useful so we went to the city we went down to the city and I have quite a wish list like a list of bags that I'd like to check from Louis Vuitton and also Givenchy but I didn't get to go to Givenchy because I got stuck in Louis Vuitton again. It's really hard to resist, you know? I was trying to find the on-the-go because it's new. The MM size, on-the-go MM and Empron, the all-black one or the turtle dog, whichever is available. My essay said it's not yet available here in the Philippines. As of the time that we got there last week, I don't know right now. I also inquired for the on-the-go MM in Epi. That's also in my list. It wasn't available as well. They said they had that last year and then since then they never had it again. So the next in my list is actually this bag that I'm going to unbox. So this is one of my next few things in my list because I saw this one in store last year and I told my essays, this is a great work bag if ever I get to work <laughs> because that time of course we're not working I told her this is gonna be a good businesswoman bag I tried it out I asked her like last week and they said they had it so I opted for this bag instead so this is my new big black bag from Louis Vuitton it's the Dun -dun -dun -dun. what a basic basic bag it is the Louis Vuitton Neo No Way size MM and Epi, an Epi Noir. <laughs> Ta da! It's, it looks like a queen. This is the bag that I told my essay. It's, that's a nice businesswoman bag. And I got it six months later. The other bag that I'm thinking of getting is actually the Givenchy Antigona again. Uh, Givenchy Antigona in small. So I was actually fixated if I'm not gonna get a Louis Vuitton bag, I'm gonna get the Givenchy Antigona in small size because I know it's a nice medium sized bag and I think that can hold a 12 inch laptop. So that's really my next important in my list. But as I said, I got sucked in <laughs> in the Louis Vuitton store. I wasn't able to leave <laughs> the store. I don't know in the future if I still want to have the Antigona back in my collection. Yeah, I'm not gonna say like no to Antigona. I'm just going to go with the flow and maybe in the future. Okay, so going back to this beauty, why am I talking about other brands? It's the most basic big black bag. <laughs> You can get so alongside with this bag i also got some accessories so the twilly and another thing so this was my plan for this bag so that it's not that super super basic like super just toned black so i want her to have like a headband <laughs> so it has white black pinks beautiful right I've been looking for this bag for the past 
last year, I think, uh, before I got the, oh, this one, the Neon Away BB. So I was looking for this as well because I saw this in the store, as I said, and it looks like a boss lady type of bag. It looks so muted and classy and badass. And if you can smell, my gosh, the, the lingering smell of epi leather. And I love that. I love leather smell. I do leather crafting as well. I do, I create leather pieces. That's my hobby as well. So I love the smell of leather. It's fine with me. I'm not sensitive with leathers. So the Noe style is not a new style. Of course, it's a very old style from Louis Vuitton. I love it in epi leather because I love epi leathers. It's structured yet classy. It's so robust. You can go out with this in the rain. So the back is plain as well. The epi textured leather, but the bottom is smooth black leather. I also tried playing around with this twilly. I removed this drawstring and I use this as a drawstring because I found some pictures in IG and I saw some people use their twilly as their drawstring for their no way and it looks so good but I didn't made a nice bow out of this twilly so instead so I, I put back the drawstring I, I put the twilly in the handle instead and I found it to be the perfect match because this twilly, it has this oversized LV logo with the flower. One side is white and the other side is black. So beautiful! And then it has some specks of pinks all around it. So it's still looking kind of feminine, uh, but it's more of a like I'm a strong woman. This is the kind of bag that you know would stay like this for many, many years. Years, depending on how you use it, of course. This one in specific is where is the made in back? It's here, okay. It says made in France. And then this is the handle. You can see Louis Vuitton Perry over there. And then you can use this as a shoulder bag or a crossbody. Both straps that it has, it, they can be removed. This is the longer strap and it can be adjusted by these poppers on the side. So you can adjust them for crossbody. For this one, I like wearing it shoulder bag style because that is what I want, a big black shoulder bag. One awesome feature from the Neo Noe is that it's a very, very lightweight bag. Considering that this is a leather bag, it's so lightweight, you can fill it up. And actually, in my case, I cannot fill it up because I need more things to put inside. It has a lot of space inside and I cannot fill it up. Currently, all of the things that I can fit in my Speedy B25 can fit in here and more. And since this is an open top bag, you can put like a cardigan or a scarf on top. So it can also be like a sort of closure in the bag if you want it to be more secure. But for me, since it's a very tall bag, in my opinion, and then like my wallet is just resting over here, it's quite difficult to kind of reach into the bag. The only indication that it's LV is that logo here. It's not that small and it's not that big as well. So from afar you really cannot see that. It has four grommets which have the Louis Vuitton name in it. This one is in silver hardware. The interior is in black as well. So it's a black hole. It's difficult to see inside. I ordered a bag organizer uh, in nude color so <laughs> it will be easier for me to find my things and to organize more even though you know this bag actually has um, two compartments. I believe the back part will allow me to put more things than the front one because the front one has that dip and then in the middle it has that divider pocket 
section. And then the date code is actually inside this pocket, which is very, 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 very difficult to see. So that's actually the, the overview of the bag. It's a very simple bag. It's a straight up big black bag. I'll try to put some big items so you can see how much this bag can handle. Of course, uh, your typical everyday stuff like your wallet, your alcohol, your tissue, or whatnot. Of course, those can fit because this is a big bag, but uh, let's see other items. So I have several big items in here that I'd like to try to put into my Neon Away. So if you have a regular sized book, this one can fit perfectly. If you have a regular sized notebook, that can fit as well. Not picking out or anything. If you have a planner, that can fit as well. And we're still uh, using the back portion, okay, of the bag. And then you can put all your essentials at the front. And then the last and probably the biggest one that I want to try to put is to put my laptop. This is a 12-inch laptop as this one. It's quite hard. <laughs> Okay, so that will not fit conveniently. It will not. But it will pick out like this. If we're going to put it like vertically, it can fit. But the round two inches of it will pick out. For me, I think I think it's fine. It's not that heavy, my laptop. So it's not that going to torture my bag. It's not going to torture it that much. Maybe I'm not gonna use that every day, like as a laptop bag. But for emergency purposes, like if I really had to bring my laptop for the day, maybe I'd do that. Anyway, so that's it. I'm gonna do a mod shot of this as well. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, leave them down in the comment section below. This one currently details for 129k here. Now reveal the two accessories that I got. This is my first bandeau. I know it's just fabric and it costs a lot, but I'm going to use it. So for me, it's a, it's a it's a it's an okay buy for me. And I specifically fashioned it here in my Neo Noe MM because I feel like it's a very simple black bag. So I want to put a nice element into it. This is the detail, the sticker with the item code. If you're interested. It's quite an expensive, very, very big jump from your generic twenty or bandos or wraps. Um, this is a generic one. I think this is like like a five dollar one or even you know or cheaper. In comparison, this generic twenty to Louis Vuitton bando, it's so different. This one is softer. This one is better in quality, in short. This one is 100% silk, as it says on the pamphlet. So it has this Louis Vuitton Paris, and then it says here it's made in Italy, 100% silk. It's about to fall off. There's only like two threads that's holding this pamphlet and one of them broke off already that's the first accessory that i got and then the second accessory so this is the bag charm floor v monogram yeah. and i think putting it here in the speedy b25 will show how beautiful this is so this is my uh second charm from Louis Vuitton. The first one is actually the, in, in, the, in the front. I put it in the back side for uh, reference. So this is my first bag charm from Louis Vuitton. It's the 2019 holiday collection and I have my nickname at the back. 
I think this is a this is not a new bag charm. It's it's new to me right now. <laughs> so this is the tag that it came with. So this is in my wish list for the new year as well. Uh, so a big black bag, a bandeau, and a bag charm. Specifically this one, the Fleur de Monogram. It has the two color accent color, which is like a cream and a tan color. Cream or beige. So this is how it looks like. It has the clasp, Louis Vuitton on one part, and this type of clasp with the Louis Vuitton writing on the other. I even had to Google how to use this uh, type of clasp because it's the first time that I encountered this type of clasp. And this one, for you to open, you have to pull this part and then you have to go like that. This is how it looks like in a never full. How that is so pretty. It looks like a necklace. For the longest time I've been using it with this pom pom and it's it's beautiful of course. It's very very simple. And then if I want to jazz it up. So this bag charm, the only downside that I see is that it's very noisy. So those are the three items that I got from my recent trip and my annual Louis Vuitton haul. I usually buy a bag at the beginning of the year and for this, you know, this time around, I was able to get some more items along with my bag purchase and I purchased my two bag accessories and I'm very, very happy. So let me know if you have any questions. Again, thank you so much for watching. Maybe you can find other things that you'd like to see, like bag reviews of other bags that I have done from my previous videos. Check it out in my channel. Hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and happy. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye!